Hello there, everyone. Right now it's 4 p.m. on Tuesday, September 22nd. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today. Hey, did anyone else watch that variety show yesterday? It was kind of painful. Oh dear. There I go again, prattin' about my TV habits. Sorry, folks. That's all for today. Have fun out there. Let's go around and find what we find. <laughs> that was, I was like, wait, is that a love letter? Did Carmen write us a love letter? I mean, I can set up a wedding if she wants me to. <laughs> oh god, we should totally do a wedding. Praise be on to Helix. Oh, we should totally do a wedding. <laughs> uh, we can totally... I mean, I know we've already had wedding season, but you know what I mean. Oh, fuck. We should do a wedding. Maybe maybe on day 200. Maybe that'll be day 200, is doing a wedding. <laughs> But yeah, today's just another normal day. So today is actually a very special day for me personally. It's my anniversary of doing like all this YouTube internet stuff. It's my 10 year anniversary this year. A, I've been doing this for a decade. Not always in this format. I've done many different, there's been many different iterations of my work online over the past 10 years. Some better than others. But I, I've done a lot. And I put out a video on the main channel. Oh, look at the toe beans. I put out a video today on the main channel of, of a retrospective of the past 10 years. Hey, Derp Curb. So yeah, on the main channel, the past 10 years, I started, I went, I, t I spent hours on notes going back through, not every video I've ever made, but a fair chunk of them. It's, it's, I think it's over a thousand videos. I think it is. And I went back through and I looked at all of them and see, right, like what happened in each one of them. And, or, well, I didn't go right, but I mostly focused on series. There's a lot of stuff that happened early on. And it kind of, like, as time catches up to the present, it slows down a lot more. I thought I raided you. I don't know. It didn't go through. Huh. That is weird. But hey, th thanks for the attempted raid. <laughs> I'm still appreciative. Let's bury this. Did you go? Hey, Marina. Out, out for a stroll? Oh, hey, it's you. Days when the weather's nice makes my bones ache a bit less. Ten years today, fuck me. But yeah, I going back through. I was like, oh, this series. What what was the one? Oh, Pokemon. Like Pokemon, like black and white took like a year. You don't need bones. <laughs> True. I mean, I mean, octopi can fit in holes about the size of like that, like the size of what is it, like a quarter or a half dollar. I don't remember. I know they can fit in small holes because they're weird like that. Yeah, yeah, God, it's so weird going back. Pokemon, Pokemon Black and White took about a year, right? I remember it taking about a year, and then Pokemon X and Y I did in like a month, 
which in my memory, it's it's a year. It was a it was the biggest series I did at the time. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire t took a few months. Admittedly, I didn't finish the series like completely. Like I, the bonus videos took another like two years, which I kind of forgot about that. But yeah, it's there was all the let's plays I did along the way. I am gonna make it child fanfics of X and Y. Yeah. I remember naming, like, because normally I use, like, my own name for my Pokemon character. But I remember using a different name just because I thought it sounded cool. I remember doing that. I also remember in X and, and Y catching the shiny Audino. I was just strolling along, and boom, there it was, shiny Audino. Or in black and white, I was, I was level grinding for the second gym. And hey, here's a shiny. Is it Poly? Not Poly Toad. It's Seismitoad. I think it's called Temple. Yeah. And of course, it was off. Like, I was doing a Let's Play of the series, but I was grinding off camera to get ready for the gym. And I find the shiny then. So I have no proof of me. Like, I have no video proof of it, which sucks. But I do still have that shiny. I. Even from my black and white Let's Play almost a decade ago, I still have my shiny Seismitoad. I don't have my first shiny, but I've still got the Seismitoad. And I, 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 don't, I don't remember if it's on Y or if it's in uh, Omega Ruby, but it's in one of those games. But I still got it. Which... I, I don't know. I usually get one shiny per generation. Sometimes I get luckier than others. Like in Gen 7, I got a drowsy. And it was just kind of like, eh, I don't really care about this. Right? Like, it's a drowsy. Who cares? In Gen 8, it, or in Gen 8, I got a... a uh, fuck, what's that thing called? I, 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 named, I nicknamed it Pookie. It's a cutie fly. I got a cutie fly in Gen 8. But I get one per generation. I didn't get anything in Omega Ruby. I didn't get anything in Heart Gold or Soul Silver. But I got a Vile Plume and Diamond and, and Diamond and I think it was Diamond. It might have been Platinum. Three big fish. Okay. But yeah, I get one per generation. And then there's like one or two that I've grinded for over the years, like uh, a Guard of War and. Something else that I don't remember. Man. Yeah, because... And then, because I didn't... Let's play Sun and Moon. Because by that point, I was just like... You know, I don't... Right, like, the Let's... The, the Omega Ruby and X and Y Let's Plays were garbage. I'm, I'm totally aware of it. So I was like, you know, what's even the point? I'm not even going to Let's Play Sun and Moon. They're just going to look terrible... I was aware of that by that point, so I, I never did it. I considered it, but I never did. Yeah. And then, of course, Bismuth took off, and boom, the, the rest was history. A.K.A. where we are now. Kind of. I don't know. I, I just got out of class as well, I should say. Like, I got out of class and immediately turned around and, like, uh, right, and booted up the stream. Because, I don't know. I did have some plans for today for, like, the stream. But I was up all, I was up all night editing the, two, uh, the 10 year anniversary video. It took me forever to get that thing edited. And then it took, like, two hours to upload it as well. Because I wanted to stream earlier in the day, but I couldn't because the because the uploading the 10 year anniversary video took over two hours, and I just couldn't I couldn't up I couldn't upload in stream at the same time. But I got it up, I got it up right before I went into class, which was nice. It was. It was a lot, it was not, not, it was a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of research mostly 
going back and actually going through everything video by video. A lot of it I had to cut, sadly. Or just like, I didn't even like mention just because I was running out of time. Um, are we missing? I don't think I'm missing any fruit trees because I don't think there are any down here to the left. Yeah, I don't think there are. All right, let's go fossil up and sell everything. Yeah, I guess do. S I got I got my first iPad in 2016. That's when I joined the internet. I still have that iPad. I I got an iPhone in 2011, I think. No, not an iPhone, an iPod. So right, like the original, the one that were used for music. But that tech technically, technically, I'd been doing the internet for a lot longer. I re I remember when dial up existed, right? I still had dial up for a while. Oh, in the early days, and then eventually dial up went away, and I got full on internet, and I had an old like tube TV style computer. A t I don't remember what the monitor was specifically called. I don't even remember the brand of the computer. Tosh, was it a Toshiba? I think it might have been a Toshiba. But yeah. And then I just used the laptop for a while. I don't know. It's been so long. It's been so long. Uh, Diplo Pelvis, Mega Diplo Tail. So this is. No, that might actually be what we're looking for. Ooh, I should not sell that. We can give that to, uh, what's-his-face. Or we can, I think that matches with the rest of the Diplo we have. Ooh, a fridge. I mean, I kind of like it more than my red fridge. 187 days, yeah. Oh, not that one. Yeah, and my goal is to make it to 369. So we've, so I may be halfway there, but we still got a while to go. Yeah. And I haven't missed a day since, even though I think one of the days didn't get archived, like day like 140 something, never got archived. But other than that, we haven't actually missed a day. But we will. I'm still standing by. I'll miss Christmas. For obvious reasons. Do I want... Is that a filing cabinet? That looks like a filing cabinet. Oh, it's a mini fridge. I'll buy a mini fridge? Sure. I don't know where to put it, but I'll buy it. Double door fridge. Yeah, eh. I could. Sure. I have, I have the money. We already placed the money tree, so yeah, sure. I've got the money. Oh god, look at Yuka's dress. The superhero outfit. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see what you got. I should probably change outfits. I've been wearing the same one for like a week. Ooh, look at that. Work shirt. I kind of wish it was tucked in, but... Eh. I also do love the mate. Oh my god, look at that. That's pretty good as well. We'll buy that, and then I'll get that work shirt as well. You know what? Sure, we'll find... I'll find a use for it at some point. I'm honestly surprised I haven't seen the main outfit, the maid outfit before. I mean, I've definitely seen everything else. Yeah, let's go with black and white.
Yeah, I was I was so between I had I had schoolwork due today. I had to read a book, and then I won, and then I had to get that video done, and that took forever. But I did it. I did it all. But it was 4 a.m. and I was just like, nope, I can't upload it. I'll be up until six, and I've still got class in the morning. But hey, I made it here, nevertheless. I'm I still made it. What is this? Oh, oh shit! It's a it's a it's a Dealy. Holy shit, Gulliver! That's cool. I don't. I mean, the red kind of matches the diner counters. I guess I'll keep it for now. So what did I want to? Oh, we're gonna do Flix challenge. So I should probably sell everything that isn't whatever related. Marijuana. We got three sunfish. A hammerhead. A great white. Oh, we got two great whites to sell. A whale shark. And a sucker. Should I keep I should I should keep a sunfish, shouldn't I? I, I should keep one of the sunfish or the yeah the ocean sunfish. We'll sell everything else once we complete the sea sports challenge. It'll it'll be some good money. I mean we have two great whites in there, so that's that's good. Do sharks go away the end of this month? I feel like they should, but I don't know. Oh god, and there's less fish now. And now our river access is completely blocked because of the what I did with the snurch. Because the snurch made everything more complicated. Because of course it did. Huh. It is... Is it the Fall Equinox? Yeah, I guess... For some reason, I thought that was yesterday. Huh. Weird. That's a shark. Alright, let's see. Alright. Eh, it's a sucker fish, whatever. I, I would have preferred, like, an actual shark, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, let's get this. And I fucked that up. I reflexed and immediately just went for it. Oof. Yeah, see, we can no longer go this way. I mean, we can go up here. That's still totally a viable option. <laughs> That's a king salmon. That looks very big. Either it's that or it's like a sturgeon or something. Yeah. I haven't seen the sturgeon in a while. That's that's the first one I've caught in a while. All right, let's get this. Ooh, th this is bigger. This might be a sunfish. No, it's a great white. I'll take it. I mean, I have no complaints here. That's that's way more money. I'll take that. Um, that looks about the right size. Red. I don't know if that's the right size. Yeah, that means we completed the challenge. Let's go talk to CJ. Alright, where are you, CJ? Hey. What's up? Fishinista, you picked a name for your angler Sony yet? 
I'm still CJ still I don't know I don't know man it's it's just, it's just kind of it's it's it hits a little too close to home it's just a little too much for me you know I, I've said this before King salmon arowana all this jazz. Okay, predictions, I'm going to guess at least 100k. I mean, this isn't like the one time we sold 10, 20 arowanas, which I think was almost three 3k, so... I'm, I'm going to guess around 10... I mean, there's three great whites, one of basically every shark except for the saw shark. Admittedly, the pike's not worth as much, but the, the sturgeon will be. One hundred and fifty. Okay, that's that's not bad. That's some good money. I'll take that. And then we have all those wasps to sell to Flick. Not like I don't think wasps are worth that much money. We just have them. Because I forgot to sell them. Did this give me a purple? I feel like it didn't, did it? Gosh dang it, we just need one more purple. All the yellows have grown. We just need one purple. And then we can start moving the... The whites over here. Even though this is already whites. You know what I mean. So what is there, is there any news? Oh, the Xbox went up for sale today. The Xbox Series X in Series X. Um, I I did I I was up for the pre-orders just in case, but I did, I, I have no interest. Yes, I know. I'll still stand by Game Pass being a good deal. Like honestly, if that if ga Game Pass, I still don't care for Xbox because they don't have the exclusives I like. Right. Like, I, that's why I like Sony. Sony has the exclusives I like. Xbox don't. And, of course, Nintendo does. But Nintendo's kind of in a, a league of their own. And so Sony, I'm, or so Xbox, I'm just kind of whatever. But Game Pass is a good deal. And, I mean, getting all those Bethesda games, that's that's huge. God, the chance of a Fallout New Vegas 2. Oh, boy, that's fucking huge. We should go make a golden watering can. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be... Do we need it, actually, now that I'm thinking about it? So it's one of these. I, I don't know if we need a gold one. Yes, I mean, we could get black roses. But I don't technically need black roses at the moment. I'm just disappointed we didn't get a, uh, s a freaking m moonflower. Lily of the Valley, that's what it's called, yeah. It's because of those stupid turnips. Buying the turnips that the next day ruined everything. Oh, hey, look, it's our first time seeing Audie out and about. Hi, what a quinky dink running into you here. Browsing these cute accessories and sparkly knickknacks got me so hyped. It's like someday I'll be on stage singing, dancing, and wearing sparkly stuff like this. <clears throat> it just makes me feel so um, eminently famous, so deep down inside, you know? Eh, it's cool to see Audie for the... God, I'm so glad we have Audie and Whitney. Turn up prices. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! What? What? I didn't buy turnips this week, and that's our price? That was a nine. It was a nine percent chance of getting higher than like two twenty, and it went up to five sixty four. What the fuck? What the absolute fuck? Okay. God, I wish I'd bought, I bought. At least I'm. I, at least I bought some turnips. I mean, like, holy shit! I could have bought none. But if I had, I mean, I if I'd bought that million, holy shit, we would have been swimming in the money. I mean, we already are swimming in the money. But holy shit! Holy 
Holy shit. Ah, ah. Fuck me. That that was such a low probability of happening. And yet it still managed to happen. Holy shit. I mean, it is yes, that was it's a 9% probability that's still totally a reasonable probability at the end of the day. But holy shit. I mean, it's the perfect day to do it. At least we bought some turnips. Like, if we had bought nothing, I would have been, like, so brokenhearted. But we put... We put a good... We put a, we bought a few. I should have bought more, though. I was going to buy a million, but I talked myself out of it. I should have just bought the million. Oh, fuck me. How is your island not full? What do you, what do you mean by that? What like not full of turnips? I just I wasn't expecting it to be that high. I it was such a low chance. I just I I was like, "You know what? I'm not going to worry about it this week." Especially because I think the buying price for turnips was well over like 110. So it was like Buying turnips was, like, stupid expensive this week again. Not turnips? How, what do you mean by island not full? Trophy case. I think I already have that. Wouldn't it get somewhat full after this many days? I mean... It's, de I mean, literally the only, if you look at the map real quick, the only untouched area of the island is the bottom right corner, right? Like there's the crab rave, but then that area around it is empty. Other than that, the rest of the island has stuff on it. Like the rest of the island has stuff built on it. Like, like the mountainous looks empty, but it isn't. It's cultivated. Most, I'd argue the island's not empty. It's just that one little area is untouched. And also the area behind the shop, like between the shop and town hall, that area is also a little empty. I haven't put anything there yet. But no, I, I'd argue it's not empty. It's just, I mean, yes, could I have more decorations? Is that what uh, Tyrell yells at me about all the time? Yes. That I could add, totally do more decorations, but I, it's not empty, per se. And yes, I do have a lot of roads. Oh, I also got to do Fruit Island. Ooh, I forgot about that. We're, we're making a... Between CJ, Turnips, and whatever, we're making a lot of money today. Oh boy, this is probably going to be a million. This is, this is probably going to be a million right here. Just off of this one little batch of turnips. And I could have bought a million dollars worth of them. Yep, that's a million. What did I do before Twitch? I mean... <laughs> Let's see, okay, thinking back to what I talked about yesterday for my 10-year anniversary video on the main channel. I Let's Played Pokemon games, I've done, um, I've Let's Played a bunch of PC games, not, okay, like 10-ish. I did, um, I did, um, what's it called? I, I've reviewed shows, I've reviewed shows, I've reviewed movies, reviewed games, I've done it all. I've basically tapped, tipped my, like, toe into everything except for maybe animation. Like, actually, not, not like, watching animation, definitely. But actually, like, making animation. Oh, and music. I haven't touched music either. Because 
My family is not the musical type. I probably have the most musical talent of anyone in the family, but uh, one times zero is still zero. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've done a little over over ten, 10 years is a lot of time to do a lot of different things. But Animal Crossing is the main project nowadays. That and Korra. Because I've been putting all... I've been... Like, the little free time I have, I've been putting into Korra. And doing stuff with that. I, I, didn't even, I still haven't played the Mario Collection. I was actually going to play it today. I was considering playing the Mario Collection today. But I just probably don't have the time. Yeah, I just, I just don't have the time today. Ugh. And then we still got to do that Fall Guys video that I've pushed off until Thursday. Because I keep pushing that Fall Guys video off because I'm terrible. But we'll get around to it. Well, and then tech... I mean, technically I've been doing Twitch for like three and a half years now. Is it? Is it three? No, it's... it's I guess it's not three and a half because I did... Because... Sky Factory was early 20... I think 2017. I think that was Sky... Fa I think that's when Sky Factory was. And Cup... No, but Cuphead, I think, was late 2016. Oh, God. I don't remember. When did Cuphead release? Because we, because I did Cuphead on Twitch as well. That was one of the first... That, that and Sky Factory were the first two things I streamed. Cuphead 20? No, there's no way Cuphead... Cuphead... No, it must have been... Cuphead's gotta be 2016. Cuphead. Yeah, September 2017. So, yeah. I guess I started in 2017. But it lagged a lot. Really? That's interesting. I, f I find Sky Factory, like, the least laggy. Well, I mean, I guess in the end game it gets pretty bad. But at the beginning, nah, it's it's not too bad. Because it's literally just a floating block. Sky Factory was fun. I, I, I played the second one a little bit. Or, I, I I mean, I played the fourth one a little bit. It was it was okay, but it wasn't... The third one was just so good. And the fourth one, it was okay. It There were some things I didn't really care for in the fourth one. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, I just, cause I was watching Achievement Hunter do Sky Factory, and I was like, oh, this is so cool, you know? I wanna, I wanna do this. I wanna play Sky Factory, and I so I just started streaming it one day, and yeah, I mean that wasn't when I created the Twitch channel, cause I'd been watching Vine Sauce for years, but that was um that was when I think I first like started to get into streaming, and then for and then for all of 2018 and half of 2019. It was every Friday I was doing something. Every Friday there was a street Zelda, Metroid, Splat and Chat. Yeah. I don't I don't remember I don't remember how I found Vine Sauce. Like I don't remember I just I remember Joel's window destructions. But I don't think that's where it starts. I remember Joel's window destruction and Joel's uh, Sims videos. Though that's where I remember starting it, and then I found Venny and Rev and uh, I Imakuni and all the others. Uh, Ky, they're all they're all pretty they're all pretty good in their own ways. But the wind, the Windows destructions were just so good, as were like I remember the Sims videos, where like he recreated, where he uh, Joel put Mario and Luigi together, and then they got uh, are my pockets full really? Oh, all the money. 
Oh, okay. Um. Joel, I haven't gotten any money. Yeah, they're, um, Joel and Vinny are, the, like, the big ones, and yeah, I, I definitely get the appeal of those two. They're, they're good. They're, they're funny. Um, I was, KY I really liked for, because I was big into puzzle games, and KY did a lot of those. Um, there's someone else I'm forgetting. KY, Rev, Vinny, Joel, Imakuni... Fuck, there's one of, I'm forgetting. And I can't for the life of me remember who. Jacksepticeye. I never I never got into Jacksepticeye or Markiplier. I I knew people who liked them, especially Markiplier. Like I was cuz I was kind of into Game Grumps and I knew they the Markiplier and the Game Grumps were kind of hanging out. And I was like, oh, that'd be cool, right? That was, a uh, he, he, Markiplier's cool. And I saw some of his, like, early FNAF stuff, and I was like, ah, this is fun and funny. Oh, God, uh, Five Nights at Fuckboys. I think that's what the series was called, where he gets drunk and just plays, uh, it's like an RPG. Oh, that was hilarious back in the day. But then, I, I don't know, I just kind of moved away from Markiplier and towards... Achievement Hunter and yeah, I don't know. I can still I can still kind of watch game game grumps every once in a while, and still like get the appeal of them. Um, same same thing with Yogg's Cast. Surprisingly, like I was there like early Minecraft when Yogg's Cast was like doing uh, Survival Island and then later on into Shadow of Israfel, and I was big into that. But then eventually after like t uh, Tech It. And whatnot. I kind of in early on into Moon Quest because I never really got into Moon Quest, so I kind of drifted away. But then more recently, I've actually been able to go back and like do like their modern stuff, which is like Trouble in Terrorist Town. And no, Yogg's Cast is still pretty funny. Their charity streams are still pretty good. I'm surprised. Like Yogg's Cast would would be like something that I assume like most other Minecraft YouTubers that I just assumed I would have grown out of. Like, I can't stand, like, a lot of those, like, early guys, like, oh, God, I, like, I went back and watched, like, Chimney Swift or Sky Does Minecraft, and they're just so annoying to me nowadays, but I was genuinely surprised that Yogg's Cast still holds up in my mind. That, I was not expecting that. I love Sky's I I loved it as well. I was big into Sky, I was big into Chimney Swift... Um, Etho, Doc M, Exuma I still like. Exuma is one of the only Minecraft YouTubers who, like, who does primarily Minecraft. Because most of them branched out into other things. But Eth uh, Exuma still does Minecraft, and I still think he's really good. Like, his Minecraft content is still just as entertaining as, like, when he first started, as, as when I remember him. Which surprises me, because I would not expect that from him of all people. But yeah. Ant Venom I find annoying. I like Phoenix SC. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I, I don't watch... I still play Minecraft all the time. I just... I mainly only watch Achievement Hunter anymore. And the snapshot stuff from Exuma. That's it. I don't... I, I don't really watch that much Minecraft content anymore. I, I grew out of it. And I don't have time for it. And I don't know. A lot of the classics either retired or moved on to other stuff. Which I don't blame them at all. Like, that was definitely the right move to make. Especially the ones who stagnated. I've gotten more into Hoi 4? H O I 4. Um. H O I 4. Um. Hearts of Iron. Okay, I was like, I could not place the acronym there for a second. Okay, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I got into, I got into freaking. What was the weird? What was the weird one? Civilization. I got big into Civilization for a while, 
where like that was I was like big into that but yeah modding that game is fun yeah. I've, I've been having fun uh, messing around with um well that's Minecraft but I've also been having fun with a uh, tabletop simulator recently and I've been doing that and I've been getting all my uh I've been, I've been, I've actually, I've been making some custom stuff in Tabletop Simulator, checking out what people's mods are. I, I really should, I really haven't played with that many people, but yeah, it's, it's, Tabletop Simulator is pretty good. Like, it's got a lot, for a physics engine, it's got a lot. So, after many, many months of me pushing it off and getting $25 million for a $2.5 million loan, I'm finally gonna pay off my loan. Oh wait, let me let me, let me withdraw like twenty bucks first. Not that much. Let's finally pay off my loan. Pay from savings. Just do the full amount. That has taken way too long to do. But hey, it's the ten year anniversary, so anything can happen. Sweet, I finally finished paying off my last home loan. Huh. Hey, Nook, I paid off my home loan. Let's celebrate. I think you had more than enough. Well, I, str I struck it big with turnips a few weeks ago. Where I bought over a million dollars worth of turnips. I bought them for like 90 bucks a turnip. And they sold for like 520 a turnip. And I made over like $5,000. Or 5 million bucks. It was good. Good money. I, I I don't know. I named an episode after it uh, in the archive, so I don't, I don't remember which how much it was exactly, but I struck it big on turnips. And if I had put a million dollars into turnips this week, I would have struck it big as well, but I didn't. And at least I still made a million. My goodness, you've done it. You've paid off your home. Renovation and... What was Tom... Oh, God, I haven't talked to Tom Nooks in so long. What was his voice? My goodness, you've done it again. You've paid off your home. Renovation loan in full again. As of this moment, you're debt-free and set for life in an amazing, spacious island home. Yes, yes. I know you're waiting for me to offer you another expansion, but we've reached the end of that. But I have something else to offer you, for free, of course. Nucky guarantees our work for life, and as a small token of appreciation, we're proud to offer you a lifetime free exterior renovation. Limit one per day. Terms and conditions apply. Yes, yes. I'm legally required to say that. I hope Nookie can be of service to you for years to come. And once again, congratulations. Ah, oh, hello. This is a construction consultation. How can I help you? About my home. Time to talk about your home. There are a few ways I can assist you. What would you like? I want to customize. Customize the outside of your home. If you place an order, now it'll be ready by tomorrow morning. So what are you interested in? Yes, please. Excellent. Then I'll show you the design catalog and choose what you want for your home. So we can do all these different shingle colors. I still personally like my pink roof. I still think that's kind of cute. There are a lot of options, though. I'm kind of surprised at how many there are. Now, nah, like, let's see what else we got. But I like the default pink bat the best. Or I could do a... Eh. Now, nah, I kind of like the pink roof. Huh. Ooh. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of... Is that Cherry's house? I think Cherry's house is either this one or that one. Ooh. Oh, God. Do I do fully pink house? Do I do fully pink house? Ooh, that's tempting. 
kind of like the white, though. I've talked in the past about how I think white and black is a good aesthetic. So I can either do like that. Pink house, it's free. I mean, fair point. Fair point. <laughs> oh, then uh, I guess we need a pink door as well. I kind of like the little... I think the window's important. Ooh. I think a window's important. God, there's so many doors. Oh, pink... Ah, no, that doesn't match. I mean, that's... Ooh, that's bright. I kind of, I kind of like one of the first two. I don't know. I kind of like a window though, because like that matches that matches the house perfectly. That's a perfectly pink house, but that that one's also not too bad. Ah, uh, uh, that's a little too dark. Yeah, I, I think I think I want to go with the second one. That one. And then we might as well do a pink mailbox, because we can. I'm still using the rustic, for Christ's sake. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, let's do fully pink house. Okay, sure, let's do it. Hmm. Interesting design choice. I'll make sure the construction is done by tomorrow morning. If you're like me, you're already excited. Hey, Isabella, are we back up to five stars yet? Or do I have to wait a day? Let's talk Island of Elves. Yep, we're back up to five stars. So, it literally... So, our island is forever gripped in the turmoil of going up to five stars. Then we buy turnips and it goes down to four. And then we, then we spin the turnips and it goes back up to five. It, it repeating ad infinitum. That is the scourge of our, our island from now on. Oh god, what a terrible life we live. What a terrible life we live. <laughs> uh, we're, gonna have a, we're gonna have a completely pink house tomorrow. So, I do wanna... Should, should I start the rock garden tomorrow? Like, I could... St I've been saying I'm going to start that. And I could... It'll probably take me a few days to get everything correct. But I think I'll probably start that tomorrow. And the hope is just to get it right all here. Either tomorrow or sometime sometime in the near future this week. I don't know. And then my hope is Thursday we'll do Fall Guys. My hope is... Yeah, Thursday will be Fall Guys. I mean, we're also, of course, we're still going to do more Animal Crossing, but you know what I mean. Let's go to, say hi to Adi in her house. And we're on day 187. I do like the idea of doing a wedding on day, um, whatever. You know, inter so interesting, so my brother has Adi, and I'm pretty sure the house he has with her looks completely different. Maybe I'm thinking of a different character. Maybe I'm thinking of a different character, but I remember it looking completely different than this. Huh, maybe not. Hey there, welcome to my humble abode, Foxtrot. The bug off is this Saturday. I've been practicing being super quiet since you can make noise. You'll scare off the bugs. Check it out. Hey, I I'm doing good. What about you, mixed decks? Check it out. Totes quiet. Yeah, no bug's gonna hear me. I guess I need to practice more. Yeah, no, I'm, I kind of li I like the idea of doing a wedding now. So I, th I think that's what's gonna happen on day two hundred. I think I think we're gonna do a wedding. Yeah, that's that's what we're just enjoying the day, working on island number two. My light just vibing. Yeah, I ju I just fully paid off my house, so I'm. I'm on my, right, I got nothing to do now. 
I've hit five star. I've hit a five star island. I've paid off my house. It's all smooth sailing from here. But we still have another six months. So God, I hope that fall update comes out sooner than later. God, I hope that happens because we still got another six months. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm wondering, should I move the crab rave up? I like it in the corner. But I also feel like I could totally move it up. Nice. Now comes the endless terraforming. Oh no, I've done... The endless terraforming's been going on for a while now. I have hated it. Like... Like, this part of the island right here, like, getting this all... Right, getting the campsite up and running, getting this river done. Oh my god, that was weeks of my time, and I will never be happy with it. Because I got it all done, and then I was like, the river's too big. The river's too big. Oh god, the endless terraforming is hell. But we will never be satisfied. I, honestly, honestly, the campsite's not too bad. I'm just glad I got this. Oh, you know what? You know what DIY recipe I still need? I was thinking... So someone a few days ago asked, like, Hey, do you need any DIY recipes? Man, the first time I got five thought I, I, stars, I thought I was done. Yet here I am, three more months and more terraforming. See, I have not been able to get five stars. I got terraforming. I've been doing all sorts of things to try to get my island to five stars. Because the game just wouldn't give it to me. Nothing was working... And I've been struggling for months because I can't get five stars. And then... And then we... And then I built the freaking snail church. The snurch. And that was that's what pushed me over. A freaking snurch pushed me over to five stars. It took months longer than it should have. But this is what got me the five stars. That and probably the school area. Ah, oh, God. What was I going on about? Um, five stars. Oh, and also turnips ruin everything. Because turnips count as, like, trash for some reason in the game. So I can't have too many turnips or else it, the game's like, You have too much trash on your island. Back down to four stars for you. So I still haven't got the Lily of the Valley yet. I don't like terraforming, but damn, it makes your skills so much better. Yeah. That's, see, that for me, that's, uh, f f I hate fencing. Because I hate, like, how much, like, it looks like it's this little thing, but it takes up a weird amount of space. And I just feel like it takes up so much room to put up fencing. And the game loves it, right? Like, the game loves when you put up a bunch of fencing. So it highly encourages you to do it. But I just find it we Like, I just... It doesn't always look that great. I mean, in the right hands, yeah, totally. But that those aren't mine. Those ain't mine. And then we got school. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of school. School's not... School's one of my better places I've made. Yeah, I'm still kind of proud of school. <laughs> God, we've done some crazy shit on this island. I mean, and we still we still have stuff to do in the future. I, I joked about the fall update. And I'm sure that we'll find out within the next eight days what the fall update's gonna be. I'm sure that we'll get an announcement video before, probably this weekend, maybe. Or, like, next Monday. Sometime before October. But we, I'm also still working on Blue Roses. We have the Rock Garden to work on because I still haven't done that. Because I was waiting for a five-star island. I should probably clear out these lilies over here. And set up an area for the moon for the Lily of the Valley. Because I think that's where I want to put it. But I'm, I'm just hoping... I'm hoping the, like, the fall update adds vegetables. I'd love to see the coffee shop, but I don't think that's coming yet. I think it will eventually... But I don't think it's coming anytime soon. 
We're also getting close to finishing up all of our bugs and whatnot. Two bugs, eight fish, and like three deep sea creatures. We're close. We're close on that front. We've done a lot in the past six months. But there is definitely still stuff to do. How long? Like, theoretically, I could get some of that done in like two days, but... Eh. Eh. Oh, you know, I might have gotten... Maybe I get the achievement tomorrow, but I know there is one for, um... The... For customizing your house. I'll, let's see if I got that. They kept the fall update sealed. It's gonna be big. About four hours ago, a data miner said it's around the corner, so probably this week. I just know it's gonna... They kept the... I just know it's gonna be before October. It's gotta... Because we didn't get a September update, which was kind of weird. So it's gotta be before October. That's the only thing I know for sure, is that it's going to be before October. But yeah, this week, I mean, I, I didn't look at the calendar, but I can here in a second. Yeah, no, I could see it. I could see them revealing it next Monday. I that, That's when, if I had to guess, I'd say next Monday they reveal it. And then it comes out on uh, Wednesday or even Tuesday. That's that's my prediction right now. But I, I hope it's big. I just want the quality of life stuff. That, like, I'll take vegetables and all that. Like, I have a vegetable field right here. And that'll be cool and all. But what I want more than anything else is the ability to multi-craft things. It was the same day. Was the August update... I remember... For some reason, I remember the August update coming out the next day. Maybe you are right. I, I don't remember. I know the summer update was, a, like, a day or two. It was, like, the next day. But yeah, I still, I just, I want multi-crafting, I want, um, multi-purchasing, there's just so many, like, quality of life improvements, and a big fall update, especially with them not doing an update in September, would be the perfect time. Oh god, please, multi-crafting. Yeah. Have you ever seen those, uh, you've probably, those, uh, fake quality of life updates? That, that, that... I don't remember the guy's name, but he's made, like, two fake Nintendo Directs for quality of life updates. If we can even get just 10% of what he talks about in those videos, I'd be happy. But specifically multi-crafting. That's by far the biggest addition that needs to be added. Everything else is, a like, a bonus at that point. It's just such a blatant design flaw. Yeah, they're really good. Nintendo needs to take notes. Exactly. Because I still stand by The game itself is, like, really good. Right, I've for six, I mean we've been doing this for six months, every day, and uh, this game's really good. Like the terraforming stuff, in and of itself, almost puts it above every other Animal Crossing game. Alone, just the terraforming alone, because that's such a big deal. But there's just a few quality of life improvements, a few things that would just make everything a little more convenient, a little more accessible. That would really propel this game into, like, a, a next level. And they're not even... They don't even feel like that big a changes. Just little things. But it would go a long way. It really would. Oh, I should water these. Because I'm still... I still... Even though I have a purple hyacinth, I'll, I always will need more. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm hoping for that October update. And the Halloween stuff. Like, God, I hope there's an entire line of, like, Halloween costumes. Oh, my God. Halloween decorations. I hope it's I hope it works better than Easter or the fall event. Because the fall event's kind of sucked. Or, I mean, like, it's the fall event hasn't sucked. There just isn't a fall event. Like, I've barely noticed it happening. It's, it's already the number one selling game in Japan. Nintendo needs to keep the content flowing. Exactly. I mean, it's I by this point, it might be the highest selling game on Switch. That's a very real possibility. And I know here in the States, the only game that's selling better than it is uh, Call of Duty. Which is... It's, it's Call of Duty, man. It's kind of a beast of its own burden. But it's, uh, like, a, a, a fall update would reunite everybody, especially a Halloween update. Because because of COVID, Halloween's going to be canceled. So for some people, the only Halloween they're going to get 
is in Animal Crossing. And that's going to be big. God, I just, I want some cool Halloween clothes. I'm not, I'm not the biggest Halloween guy in the, mo the world. I'm more of like a Christmas person. But God, I want some cool Halloween stuff. F fucking Greg Miller's talked me into it. Fucking Greg Miller. So I, I think that's all. We we paid off the house. We watered the flowers. We did the fruit. We sold our turnips for a stupid amount of money. I think that's all I've got to do for today. I'm just ready to cook for my villagers. That's what matters to me. Yeah, God, cook. Like, there's so much stuff that I... Like, there's so many ideas I have for cooking. And they'll probably never happen. But I, I, I want... Cooking sounds so good. Especially, like, using all the fish we've been catching. Like, to make, like, tuna rolls. Or to make, like, an octopus... Uh, to, to feed an octopus villager octopus, I hope we can do that. <laughs> but yeah, being able to grow like yams and rice and uh, potatoes and tomatoes and just everything. Well, okay, technically tomatoes are a fruit, but I mean, I just want more stuff. Because cause they even took away some of the fruits in this game. Like... I need to grow crops. Nintendo, please, I'm ready for this. Exactly. I've got a turnip field that's been hosting turnips, but I can con convert it over to a crop field at any day. So, yeah, I'm totally ready. I mean, I'll probably need to make one even bigger. But, yeah, I, I think that's where I'm going to end off for today. Uh, tomorrow, I, maybe tomorrow I'll work on the rock garden. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll start working on the rock garden finally. I mean, we have the space. I cleared that out to try to get to five stars. Maybe finally we can just make it. It'll probably take a few days because I'll probably fuck it up on the first two days. Like, I'll fuck it up. I'll break all the rocks. And then it'll be like, hey, guess what? You didn't cover this one spot. So do it again. Uh, that That's going to happen. I can already see it. But we'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe I should finally get around to playing that Mario game now. Because I have a little bit of free time tonight. No, I don't. No, I don't. But yeah, get around, play a little Mario, pop some champagne. Ten year anniversary, after all. Ugh. Do I have any champagne? I have some... I have some sparkling cider that I bought at New Year's. Yeah. Yeah, th thanks, MX... MX Dex. Yeah, I, I, we're here every day for 369 days, so maybe I'll see, I'll, I'll see you around, hopefully. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.